Virginia Derby's winner circle with the winning connections of the uh, Virginia Derby. Patio Prado, Kent DeSormo, the winning jockey. Uh, before I ask you about the ride at, in the Colonial Turf Cup, you had to go on the outside going around the turn. This time you went to the inside. Uh, tell us about the ride. Well, it was kind of uh, a forced issue, to tell you the truth. I didn't want to be down in there, but uh, it was the it was the line that I was offered. Uh, approaching the half mile pole, I wasn't comfortable with my position, and I didn't want to go six wide to move forward. So I let him slide up a little bit around the turn, and uh, it seemed like every rider that was in front of me was looking behind me. They were trying to find out where I was, which can sometimes be a good thing because they're more worried about me than riding their own horse. But today, going around the turn, we kicked into some high gear, and if, if, if Patty wouldn't have had the faster foot that he had, it, it could have been indifferent. But uh, he got me through the first hole with a massive turn of foot to get there and proceeded to continue with that turn of foot to get through on the second horse, which was the leader. So. Without his talent, I'm not standing here. He's fast. That's why we're here. You won the uh, stake earlier today, the Tenery with the Appeal. What did you learn out of that race that helped you in the Virginia Derby? Well, I think I learned that the track is a little uneven today. Uh, it seems to have a lot of water on it. In some places, there are low spots. And I, uh, I wanted to, first of all, make sure that I was holding his head up when we went through those low spots. And last of all, make sure that I had some horse for the last bog. There's a little swamp about 200 yards from the wire, and I, I wanted to make sure I could plow through that and have enough to the, for the wire. Certainly impressive. Want to bring in Dale Romans. Congratulations Thank on you. the weekend. Dale Romans with his nephew here, Jake. Uh, you came back here uh, to the Virginia Derby. Where are you, you going to go next? Uh, we'll probably go to the secretary. I'm going to talk to Jerry about it make sure it, it makes sense to go to the one great one for your third race in the country. And it's good timing five weeks from now. And, uh, it, it worked for Kitten Joy, and we're kind of following the same path as this one. I was going to ask you about Kitten Joy. Kitten Joy uh, back in 2004, Patio Prado, compare and contrast. There's a lot of similarities. I mean, both of them are El Prados, and they, they're both of them are big, rugged horses, and they love to win with an excellent turn of foot. And uh, very, very similar. Spooky. Jerry Crawford, uh, winning, representing Donegal, uh, racing the uh, winning owner uh, here. You wanted to come back here for the Virginia Derby, and uh, just tell us about how fun it is that it works like this. Well, he, he's the best. I, I want to say, first of all, thanks to Colonial Downs. Um, you all put on the best turf series in America with the Colonial Cup and the Virginia Derby. We've been fortunate to win both legs, and we'll be forever grateful to Colonial. I want to secondly say uh, thanks to our great trainer, Dale Romans, and Kent DeSormo. If you want to pick out uh, graded stakes winners and then get them to the finish line, hiring Dale and Kent's not the worst thing you can do. And finally, I want to say uh, thank you to all my partners in Donegal Racing, most of whom are here today. We travel pretty well uh, from Iowa with this group, and uh, we just couldn't be happier with the support we've had from the fans here, and I hope they keep their eyes open. This horse is uh, hes going to be heard from. Yeah, Patty sure had a hard time finding a spot in the winner's circle with the uh, ownership group here today. Congratulations to the winning connections of the Virginia Derby. Patty O'Crado, our 2010 winner. All right.